Okay, so I just got finished a little while ago shooting a video about a factory manufacturer aligned Galaxy 95B and how on sideband how it was coming way, way over modulated and way overpowered. And from my experience, every single one of these brand new Galaxy sideband CBs coming from the factory are done the same way. And I, and, and something uh, clicked in my mind. So when I had powered up that 959B, um, it was putting out about on the IFR 1200, 22 watts peak which if you basically cut that in half, that puts it at about 11 and a half watts RMS, right? And that's about generally what they all seem to be doing from the factory. They're about 12 watts or so RMS and just completely over modulated, looking horrible as far as linearity on, a, on an oscilloscope and just, just all around, not a good deal. And they need, really all just need to be adjusted and align properly and I was I went back and I looked at the alignment data here and if you notice here under SSB ALC now this is the Galaxy DX 2547 service manual and I mentioned this in the description of the last video I usually grab this when I'm dealing with any 959 because it's the same radio and it's easier to grab this than grabbing a three ring binder with the printed out service manual for the DX959, which has the same alignment procedure in it. So anyway, under the SSB ALC here, this step, it says, uh, you know, channel 19 upper sideband transmit mode. Uh, your, front, your input signal is 30 millivolts at one kilohertz. And it's saying to uh, get 11.5 watts. Doesn't say PEP, it just says 11.5 watts. And then thinking back to what I just saw on that 959, we were doing about 22 watts peak. So about half that's going to be around 11.5, 12 watts RMS. And that's what it was. Now, if you look at, let's say, SAM service manuals. So here is a service manual for a Cobra 140-142 GTL. And if you look at this for... SSB ALC, they say adjust for 11 watts PEP, 11 watts peak. If you look at this SAM's manual for a Cobra 148, and we see the same thing. Let me see if I can find it here. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Here we go again. SSB ALC, 11 watts peak. Peak, PEP. Let's take a look at uh, President Washington, Unit in Washington, same thing. Um, here we go. Channel 19 upper sideband, ALC, 11 watts PEP, 11 watts peak. So it makes me wonder, and I'm sure you could probably go through all kinds of Sam's photo facts there and pick out all kinds of the most popular CBs out there and probably find the same, I left my light on over here, probably find the same um, same thing written in their alignment procedure, which makes me wonder if whoever is aligning these radios at the factory is interpreting this step here as 11.5 watts RMS and not 11.5 watts peak. And if they were all interpreting this as 11.5 watts RMS, then that would completely explain why they're all overdriven and overpowered. So just something to think about. It just, it just crossed my mind that that might be a distinct possibility. Now, I don't know, you know, we're talking about that, that, um, Galaxy DX959 was made in Vietnam. Is there some type of language barrier there as far as when they look at this? Since it doesn't specifically say peak, are they interpreting that as 11 watt, 11 and a half watts RMS? So that would be, uh, 
That would be my logical guess is exactly why we're seeing all these uh, sideband radios coming from Galaxy aligned that way. So anyway, maybe uh, some other guys might want to put their thoughts forward in the comment section about that. But it, it makes logical sense that that might be exactly what's going on. So anyway, 73s, everybody. Just wanted to throw my, thought, my thoughts in on that.